Hey, did you hear about the new condo launches that sold like hot cakes on booking day? I mean, leave at MB sold over 75%, Kenny Hill Pierce 77%, Passeries 8 85%, and MO residences a whopping 97%, all on the very first day of launch. Yeah. It almost seems like every condo launch in Singapore is practically strapped to a rocket launcher, making all the units fly off the shelves. But is this a myth to be proven or to be busted? Hi everyone, I'm Brian. And I'm Gabby. And, and we, we are, are your Singapore, Singapore Property Myth Busters. Tackling some of the myths you might have heard about the real estate in Singapore. In today's scoop, we will base our myth-busting action around Lantau Modern, the first and only integrated development in one of Singapore's newest townships, Lantau Hill Estate. So, what kind of related real estate myths are we going to tackle related to this launch? Here we go! So, myth number one is what we talked about just now. Are all condo launches really selling like hotcakes? Now, first of all, we'll define what does selling like hotcakes mean. To us, we define it as selling more than 60% on booking day. Now, in 2021, there were altogether 31 new launches, including ECs. Yeah, I know, right? 2021 was really the year of new launches. So, out of the 31 new developments, only 8 of them sold like hotcakes, meeting the criteria of a launch with more than 60% sold bringing the stats to only about 30% of 2021 new launches achieving hotcake status. So with this, we say that the myth is busted. So what will you think of when I say the word Lentor? Oh, nothing exciting. I mean, Lentor has always been just a quiet landed enclave. In fact, uh, my friend said that if you live in Lentor, you better drive. Uh. So I would say Lentor is Ulu. And that is myth number two that we'll tackle for you. Oi, oi, wait for me, wait for me. Today, Lentor will soon be served by the Lentor MRT station along the Thompson East Coast Line, connecting residents directly towards the south to Orchard Shopping Belt and the Central Business District in a matter of 20 minutes max, and to the East Coast area in another 5 to 10 minutes more. So, I think I would take the MRT to town and drive if I live in Lentor later on, save on ERP and parking. In addition, as per Master Plan 2019, the government will be creating Lentor Hills, a new neighbourhood of five condo developments located near the upcoming Lentor MRT station and planned around an existing hillock area, remaining greenery preserved from Lentor Forest which will be turned into a nature park. Residents here will enjoy green zones, seamless pedestrian and cycling connectivity between Teachers Estate and Lantau MRT Station, as well as exciting commercial amenities to serve the community. To kickstart this exciting new neighbourhood will be the first and only integrated development in this precinct, Lantau Modern. This development will serve residents in this area with its generous 96,000 square feet of commercial, FMB and retail spaces including a 12,000 square feet of supermarket and 10,000 square feet of childcare facilities. With well-known developer Guacoland helming the development and being the main landlord for the commercial area, the residents shall be assured of a well-curated living and shopping experience. Lentor Hills will surely become a cool and happening township very soon. And so, any buyer of Lantau Modern will indeed be winning a unique first mover's advantage in this area Lantau. And so, with what we found, I would say that this myth may be true now, but in time to come, will be so busted. You may have heard of myth number three all too many times. That all integrated developments appreciate over time, even though they launch at a premium price. First of all, let us summarize what an integrated development is in two points. Number one, having commercial offerings or even levels of shops in a development does not qualify a condo to be an integrated development. Number two, 
a direct connection to an MRT station, which means residents will never ever get wet from home to gantry of the MRT, is the actual qualifying trait of an integrated development. With this accessibility, it makes sense for integrated developments to have a whole mall built on its first few levels with grocery, F&B, and even childcare options, making life in an integrated development exceptionally convenient. And right now, there are altogether 14 completed integrated developments in Singapore. Let's take a look at their performances in the resale market on average in the last 10 years. So out of 14, most did show an upward trend in price appreciation. But a few of such developments had not shown appreciation or even had depreciated in resale prices over time. And so with what we found, we're sad to say, but the myth is busted. Buyers do need to know how to analyse which integrated development to buy to enjoy the promised appreciation. And we can share with you in person why we are confident that Lentil Modern will fall into the A for appreciating group. Lentil Modern will be developed by a top developer, Guoco Land, which is known for developing luxurious developments that are the epitome of quality, but launched at a premium price. Yet these condos typically enjoy capital appreciation over time. So is it true that Guaco Land always develops premium and profitable developments? To tackle this myth, we will look at the past transactions up to year 2020 to see how Guaco Land's past projects have done in the resale market. We will consider a project to be money-making if the number of profitable transactions are more than the number of non-profitable transactions. We also exclude transactions in year 2021 and 2022 as even unprofitable projects can give a false impression of being profitable in such bullish times. The green box denotes for profitable transactions, while the red box denotes loss-making transactions. If green is greater than red, we give the condo a green tick. If the converse is true, then a red cross is given. So here we go! Wow, every single project is a green tick! Beside the exceptional design and build quality that Guaco Land provides, we feel that this developer also has a sharp eye and a good sense towards the potential of each site. In fact, Guaco Land has also acquired the other government land sales plot sold in Lentor Hills, indicating the developer's great confidence in this estate. And so from what we found, the myth that Guaco Land develops an exceptional development that makes a good buy is absolutely proven! And with no further ado, we at Singapore Property Mythbusters presents to you a fly-through of Lantau Modern. Modern! Please take note of the important dates for the Lentor Modern launch. The sales preview is slated for 2 to 12 September and the official launch and booking day is on 16 September. We will be happy to share more about this development and estate with you before that or book you a VIP slot for the preview. So scan the QR code on screen to contact us now. Thank you for watching the inaugural episode of Singapore Property Mythbusters. Send us your comments and suggestions on our next episode and we'll do the groundwork to bring you more real estate myths proven or busted. Till then, this is Gabby. And this is Brian. Take care. Take care.